Hey YouTube, welcome back to my shop. Thanks for stopping by and clicking on my video. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, also consider going down and clicking subscribe if you want more content like this. So here on the table, I've got six angle grinders. I've owned two other ones that I'm gonna talk a little bit about. Um, I'll dive right in and uh, tell you where those two that are missing and why they're missing would go on this spectrum. So this video is not necessarily about the cordless angle grinders, but I thought I'd throw it in here. My Bauer, definitely the worst grinder I own. I know I made a video saying it doesn't suck. It doesn't in comparison to other angle grinders that are similar to it, like the Milwaukee that I compared it to. They both uh, have like these thermal overload switches or something that shut them down when they're overworked and overheated. Uh, this shuts off a little bit too easily. The Milwaukee was only slightly better, um, but that's the nature of these brushed motor cordless angle grinders. Uh, with that being said, on top of this, I would like to pick up the new version of the Bauer cordless angle grinder because it looks like it's a better grinder. I've seen a couple videos on it. Um, didn't appear to have the same stalling issues that this one had, that this version did. And I'd really like to try it out. Maybe really on the inside, it's the exact same grinder, but uh, only uh, actual use will tell. So, so move that off to the side because we're mostly talking about my corded grinders here, but the Milwaukee that I had, the Milwaukee cordless would fit here because it had a lot of the same issues that other cordless angle grinders have, just like the Bauer. So now that we're to the corded angle grinders, I really want to just uh, add one little quick thing. I wish I had like a DeWalt and a Milwaukee, uh, maybe a Makita or whatever, a Rigid to mix in with these because most of these, with the exception of this, is from Harbor Freight. Um, it's just kind of how it happened. I really got excited about the Bauer and Hercules stuff. So you might be surprised to see the Bosch here at the end. <clears throat> so I really do like this grinder. Everything about it is pretty good. Um, the handle is a little bit simple and cheap compared to some of the other handles here on these less expensive angle grinders. This is the most expensive one I've got. I paid 60, well, I paid $200 for it uh, with a hammer drill kit during Christmas time, essentially getting the Bosch for, for free, the Bosch angle grinder for free, where they normally cost 60 bucks. So I didn't actually pay 60 bucks, but anyway, I talked about it in the Drill Master and the Bosch comparison video, $60 grinder versus $10 grinder. Um, basically, the thing that ruins this grinder for me is that really unuser friendly guard. And it would this grinder would honestly be up towards the front, maybe, Number two, if uh, the guard just wasn't so poorly designed, everything about it is just awful. And so uh, it's back here at the end because I have such a hard time adjusting it. Maybe it's just idiot proof. I don't know, but I really am not a fan of the guard. So the Bosch does not get used a whole lot. So here is the $10 special from Harbor Freight. Everybody knows the Drill Master angle grinder. It's like a 4.5 amp angle grinder. Pretty much all of the Drill Master stuff is absolute garbage. Don't waste your money on it. But this grinder, for the price you pay, is a total, total win. I really enjoy it. I pretty much used it entirely for wire wheel uh, work, wire brush work, cleaning off my welds uh, with the flux core that I use because it's dirty. Um, it does a really good job and it just kind of powers right through that stuff. It's not the best angle grinder. It's uh, honestly the worst one here besides the cordless ones because it's got a better guard than the Bosch. I'm putting it in front of the Bosch. But anyway, uh, really good, really good angle grinder all the way around uh, considering that it's 10 bucks. It works, it's decent, it's lasting me so far. I think I made the video between these two angle grinders almost a year ago and I might even do a little bit of a short update on the drill master uh, because I think in March beginning to March it's coming up on a year since I made that video and this thing's still chugging along so these next two grinders are really pretty close uh, neck and neck the reason mostly lies in that I haven't used this uh, Bauer the 7 amp Bauer very much um, it seems like a great grinder I've just not really had a whole lot of time on it 
um, because I've been using my other grinders quite a bit more. So there's just not a whole lot I can comment on. It's really, really similar to the, to the Hercules. Um, it's probably just got a few cheaper components because it was like $35 with a coupon where the Hercules I think I picked up for $40 with a coupon. Yeah, not a whole lot there. It's just a pretty good overall grinder. I'm liking it so far, no complaints. I did forget to mention that the Tills wall would fit right in here in between the drill master and this bower. Uh, interesting enough, the Tills wall actually had almost all the same uh, design and molding looks as this Hercules like it looks like there's some Chinese manufacturer over there that will um, basically just customize an angle grinder to to however expensive or however cheap uh, the kind of parts you want on it and they just use the cheaper cord uh, definitely a cheaper handle I wasn't a big fan of the handle um, and then I just you know I'm, I'm a colors guy I know it's stupid but I'm a colors guy I just didn't like the color of the tills wall uh, but it really was a decent grinder. Um, I, did, I did get a little bit of a kickback for making that video. They used it as an advertisement on Amazon, but I really tried not to overhype that grinder in that video. And it really what I said was a pretty good portrayal of how I actually felt about the grinder. I thought it was a pretty good angle grinder, but I think it costs like 40 bucks. And for the same $40, you can pick up the Hercules. Um, it was a no-brainer. If that was like a $30 angle grinder, uh, it'd be a great, great option for 30 bucks. But for the same $40, you can pick this Hercules up. It's a way better. So speaking of the Hercules, I have had this grinder for quite a while. I've not, don't really have a whole lot to say about it, mostly because I'd like to just uh, make it its own video. But it is a pretty good angle grinder, especially for what it cost. It's about 20 dollars cheaper than the big boys like uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt. I've never used, correction, I should say I've never owned a Milwaukee or DeWalt. I've used both of them, uh, corded versions of their 7 amp grinders. Not a lot of experience, nothing I could even refer back to, but I just can't really imagine how uh, with this barrel style handle here at the bottom, uh, with a switch on the side that you could really go much better or worse than this Hercules. Uh, like I said, I've had a little bit more experience with it than with this Bauer. Yeah, overall, just a really good grinder, totally great value. Uh, if you want to save 20 bucks on one of the big boys and go for the Hercules, you know, I'd really be interested to hear somebody's opinion that uses it every single day. I know that Chucky2009 did a video on it. Uh, saying it's the best $40 angle grinder he would never buy. But to me, you know, for somebody using it in their shop that wants a really good grinder for, for $40 versus $60, they could use that 20 bucks to buy a bunch of uh, grinding and cutoff discs or whatever. You know, I think the Hercules is totally worth it. Moving into my absolute favorite is the uh, 8 amp Bauer grinder. It's got this nice handle down here with a really really good quality feeling trigger and then it also has this button to lock in the trigger the handle doesn't have any nice rubber molding like the hercules does or anything uh, but it's not ultra important or anything uh, i really like it for like long grinding like on that little atb dump trailer i'm building i spent a lot of time grinding off the welds on the sides so that the sides would fit uh, nice and flush on the on the frame. Uh, definitely good power out of the Bauer. Um, like I said, just an overall good grinder, I think, for the $40 I paid for it. But really, guys, overall, I don't think you can go bad with any of these grinders. Not that any of them are the best grinders in the world or anything, but I've liked them, and they've been pretty good and reliable for me. Plenty of power, just decent grinders, all of them all the way across the board, especially when you consider the price points. The price points is a big thing. If you're a DIY guy and you want to save a little bit of cash, you don't want to spend the 60, 70, 80 dollars on the higher end brands, then these are definitely all good options. Uh, even the Bosch, I even like the Bosch. The Guard just ruins it for me. It's, it's a good grinder. If all you're gonna ever do with it is grind, it's a good grinder. So anyways, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Remember, maybe give me a thumbs up if you like this video and click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that are subscribers, I really appreciate you subscribing. We'll see you next time.